there are still about 780 million people in the world who do not have access to improve water sources. Unsafe water and sanitation. And when it comes to young children, I mean, the basic challenge is just survival. We walk a long distance to go and fetch the water on the lake. The water we are drinking is not good. There should be a real public outcry and uproar that 5,000 kids, 5,000 kids under the age of five years old die every single day, every single day because of dirty water, because of waterborne disease, because of waterborne illness. That's a legit stat from like UNICEF. Why? Why are people not like, why don't they have their eyes open, their ears open, their heart open to hearing about 5,000 kids dying every day? And like for me, man, I've, I've, I've held two of those children, you know, I've, I've, I've dug the grave. I've had blisters on my hands. I've had a little dude named Andy Bo his blood on my hands and like like bro it, it's it, it wrecks me and like that's why I'm so passionate about this thing I want you all to get interested in this but I suppose it's a push for moving on Time, the sun's gonna shine on me nicely. Sun tells me good things are coming, and I ain't gonna not believe. I am looking for freedom, looking for freedom, and finding everything. Our goal is to empower the locals to be able to do it themselves. Uh, they're my family, and so I want to see them be, be self-sustainable and all that other stuff. I'm going to love you guys and see you guys go from being slaves to being liberated, to being free, to being put on your own land, to being able to farm. By the end of this year, will be 3,000 acres of That's land incredible. that they literally own. There'll be 10 times more. 45 wells. Yeah, 45 wells. That's amazing. 18 employees. Uh, I'm partnering with the oldest university in the Congo. We want to free these people and give them a sustainable ways of life. All the villages that we've drilled wells in, we're going back in and we're doing a, the WASH program, water and sanitation and hygiene. Do you have an ultimate goal? Our goal is to end the water crisis if possible. Uh, we think it is possible. When they go out into a community, we invite the community um, into the project. We want them to feel a part of it the director of implementation of Water Fork come in and teaching our guys hydrology, geology, all the different ins and outs of how to drill a well and protect it and um, all the sanitation. Um, but we're investing in the locals so that they can be the answer to their own problem. Half the hospital beds in the world right now are because of dirty water or water-borne related diseases. Half. Half. In half the world. Right now. We could really end this thing. We could, uh, we could fix it. Like the, the tools are there, the water is there. It's under our feet. We have the technology. We should be able to do it in our lifetime. Like before you or me pass this earth, like we should have the technology to get everyone clean water. To find a life of, of purpose, of passion, of helping one another. Man, this is this is what life is about. You're a beautiful soul, Justin Wren. You really are, man. What you're doing is absolutely amazing.